There's a reach inside and dare to be great. I dance, I yell, and I celebrate. Hello, and welcome to another amazing episode of Breakthroughs Before Breakfast. My name is Andrew the Great. And this week, we're going to be discussing a principle that will, help you gain, that will help you eliminate distractions while at the same time gaining a greater level of depth to your work. As a kid, we used to run around in the local park or our backyard and we'd chase little butterflies. we chase butterflies with these little nets and relax, we let them go afterwards. But I remember how much fun it was to see a butterfly moving along and you go to chase that and then another one would come along and you go to chase that one and another one would come along and you go to chase that one. Well, you get the idea. The idea is that you couldn't chase more than one butterfly at a time. Brian Tracy puts it like this, you can only chase one rabbit at a time. Today, I see many people who, instead of chasing rabbits and butterflies, are chasing new and exciting business ideas. See, one week they pick up a net to go chase butterflies with this brand new marketing scheme, and then the next week they pick up a box to go chase rabbits, also with a brand new marketing scheme. The bottom line is that they end up losing their drive and they end up losing their focus. Which leads me to this week's principle. What I focus on expands. Many of us have heard about, read the book, or seen the movie The Secret. For those of you who haven't, the main thrust of it is about focusing in on exactly what it is that you want in life. You focus on the good in life, well, you tend to get more of it. You focus on the bad in life, well, you tend to get more of it too. Has anyone ever introduced to you a word that you really liked and suddenly you start hearing that word everywhere? Have you ever been asked to go grab something that you knew wasn't there? So say for example, somebody asks you to go grab the salt from the cupboard. And you know that there's no salt in the cupboard. So you get up and you go over looking for the salt in the cupboard, all the while telling yourself, there is no salt, there is no salt. You're yelling at the person in the other room, there is no salt! So finally, the other person stands up walks over, reaches right out in front of you, and grabs the salt. You see, the reason that this happens is because of an area of the brain called the reticular activating system. Now, this is also known as the RAS. The RAS basically tells your brain what to filter for. So if you filter for, there is no salt, there is no salt, there is no salt, while your eyes might actually see the salt, your mind doesn't necessarily perceive that it's there. The next aspect of why what I focus on expands is so crucial is because that people have a tendency to favor their already existing beliefs even when contradictory evidence, like salt being right in front of them, is presented to them. This idea is called the confirmation bias. The confirmation bias is a little part of your brain that says, aha, I told you so. And so that when you tell your, when you tell your brain, filter for there is no salt, there is no salt, the confirmation bias acts as that little mental block that doesn't allow your mind to perceive that the salt is actually there because it already has beliefs that there is that there is no salt. So what if you were to tell your brain that the entire universe was conspiring for your success? That might change your perception about how when events happen that are completely out of your hand, it might change your reaction to it. A deal doesn't go through. Great! The reason that that deal didn't go through must mean that an even better deal, an even bigger, juicier deal is just around the corner. You see, when it comes to business, the bottom line is that your focus and your mindset are your two greatest assets to help you get through the troubling times. Perhaps you may have heard the phrase, every no is one step closer to a yes. This week's world leader has been labeled one of, if not the, most influential woman in the entire world. Of course, I'm talking about none other than Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Gail Winfrey, born January 29, 1954, is an American television host, actress, producer, and philanthropist best known for her self-titled, multi-award-winning talk show, which has become the highest-rated program of its kind in history. Winfrey's career choice in media did not surprise her grandmother, who once said that ever since Winfrey could talk, she was on stage. As a child, she played games interviewing her corncob doll and the crows on the fence of her family's property. Throughout her life, Oprah is focused on the expansion of media channels to spread her message. While in high school, she joined the school's speech team, placing second in the nation for dramatic interpretation. She won an oratory contest which secured her a full-ride scholarship to Tennessee State University where she studied communication. Winfrey landed a job in radio while still in high school and began co-anchoring the local evening news at the age of 19. 
Her emotional ad-lib delivery eventually got her transferred to the daytime talk show arena, and after bo- boosting a third-rated local Chicago talk show to first, she launched her own production company and became internationally syndicated. As well as hosting and appearing on television shows, Winfrey has co-founded the women's cable network Oxygen. She's also the president of Harpo Productions, Oprah spelled backwards. Winfrey and Discovery Communications announced plans about a new channel called OWN, the Oprah Winfrey Network. It is scheduled to launch January 1st, 2011. Oprah has produced and starred in a number of films and was even nominated for an Academy Award. She's written five books and publishes two magazines on a monthly basis. Her website attracts more than 6 million users a month and in 2006 launched Oprah Radio on XM Satellite Radio. Oprah's focus in the realm of media has expanded quite a bit since interviewing corncob dolls on a farm. To finish up, Oprah's biography states that, As a woman, she has wielded an unprecedented amount of influence over the American culture and psyche. There has been no other person in the 20th century whose convictions and values have impacted the American public in such a significant way. I see her as probably the most powerful woman in our society, and I think that Oprah has influenced every medium that she has touched. So my challenge to you for this week is to comment below on... What is it that you're going to focus on this week and allow to expand in your life? Is it going to be your business? Is it going to be your health? Maybe it's your relationships. Whatever it is for you, comment below. Let other people know about it because the more that you're focusing on it, the more that you're putting it out there, the more that you're going to allow that space to expand. Thank you for watching. Once again, Breakthroughs Before Breakfast. Be sure to tune in next week for another incredible episode of Breakthroughs Before Breakfast.